Have you ever seen bad tennis? I'm not saying, like, they they haven't played before, but have you ever seen people play in a park and you think you can beat them, but then you play them and it's the most frustrating thing on the planet? Well, let me introduce you to the most exhausting player. What's up, Tweener Heads? Welcome back to another Tweener Head Tennis video today here on the channel. And today we're going to be looking at the Tennis Troll channel, one of the most popular tennis YouTube channels out there right now with the most exhausting player who's we're going to be watching today, who we're going to be watching today. And he recently played Ian from Essential Tennis. I have yet to watch that video, but if you want me to react to that video, leave a comment down below and leave a like on this video as well to show that you want me to react to it. If you guys want me to react to that video with Ian, leave a like on this video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Now, we're going to be looking at Most Exhausting Player, or MEP, we should say, and he's going to be playing an MEP from Seattle. So one of the things that Tennis Troll likes to do, this YouTube channel, is bring people down into this environment in Atlanta and bring them together and just shoot some content. Just shoot them playing, warming up, whether you're one of the best ones or former D1 players to MEP, who is kind of like that rec player but can still kick your ass. I mean, he does a wide variety of content types of players that face off against each other. And I wanted to do today, I wanted to record my reaction to the MEP from Atlanta versus the MEP from Seattle. So let's just dive right into it. One of the most annoying things that I notice from this is I get into, personally, I get into that mindset where if I see someone play like this, I should be able to beat them. It's just when I see someone play like this, I, in this very unorthodox way, it's hard for me to realize that they still are able to beat me. Whether or not I have great technique, great shots, great form, I hit with the pros, whatever. Like, I know he can probably frustrate the crap out of me and probably still beat me. But I wanted to get my reaction to what someone like MEP is going to play another person who's just like him. So, let's dive. All right, MEP, so I understand you are playing a player who has a similar style as you. Um, Diadem you Balls too. Like I like it. Before? And uh, what are your thoughts on it? I have uh, played a couple Make sure we're going to like this video as well. Styles like that, uh, more frequently, I'm actually just going to fast forward. This is MVP, by the way. Style, this, is, me this is the OG MEP from Ian's video that he flew out to Wisconsin. So, this is the guy. This is poster child, poster child of most exhausting tennis, period. Let's just fast forward here. I want to just get into the match play. Here we go. I like how I like how he's using a prince racket too. Matching his shirt and shorts, I like it. Color coordination is very key in tennis, at least in my opinion. I don't know if that's really weird to say. The speed. Ooh, dropper. How did he even get to that? Good hands. I will I will say their touch is phenomenal. Like, even though it's kind of like a rally ball every single time, their touch for drop shots is insane. Decent serve from the guy from Seattle. What is that? How high do you hold it up on the racket? Nice forehand. Good lob. Ooh. Standing in no man's land, sure. I'm going to go out, 
I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that was the best point we're going to see in this match. 100%. In terms of just different pace and movement. I'm just going to say that was the best point that we are going to see. That's my prediction, at least. Lob again. Slam. 30 love. Are those tennis shoes? I can't even tell if these guys is this guy if this guy is actually even wearing tennis shoes. A lefty slice. I like how he doesn't even have a ready position. Like, he doesn't even, like, get ready. He just stands there, here, right? If I was to, like, if I was to, like, stand up and just, like, a Roblox character, this is, like, this is how he's getting ready. How do you... What? Okay. Let's go forehand. These are really nice courts. Hello, Mother. I'm filming a video. What's up? All right, listen. Um, Courtney's cookies are not ready because they're supposed to be ready at 5 o'clock, and she said they need time to dry, so they're not ready. We're fi we figured. Okay, so she was wondering, maybe Courtney should pick up the... My cake is ready, but maybe Courtney, you guys can pick up the cake. You have more room in the car? Sure. Can you pick up the cake and just yes. put it on my credit card? You have my credit card. I have both, yes. All right. Love I'm you. I'm going to have them do that. Okay. Love you. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. See, like, just impeccable touch. I thought he missed that. That's what I mean. Like if he's if he's not in ready position, I feel like he would get that ball over. You know what I mean? Like just getting having your racket already ready in a position to turn either way, rather than just here. Oh, he's hitting it over here. Oh, he used his right hand. MEP from Atlanta. Definitely, definitely is versatile. Definitely ambidextrous. Oh, wow. Split step. See, like, impeccable touch. He's there. He's there. Oh, please. No way. Nice job. Good approach shot. I told you, I told you at the beginning, they have impeccable touch. I told you. Nice and easy. Like he knows how to construct a point. I will give him that. Just wide. Double fault. It's running back. Let's just. This is what I think it is. 
Tell me he doesn't serve like this. Oh, it hurts! It hurts! At least the guy from Atlanta knows how to hit a serve. Oh, he's got... Okay. On a first serve, that makes sense. On a second serve, it doesn't. So the guy from Seattle, and I see this in a lot of juniors too, when they hit a serve, a lot of them don't understand when they have to hit a serve, they have to reach all the way up with their arm rather than just up and to your right. They want to be more above, right above your head. What this does is when, when you swing from the side like this, you're creating that side spin that makes it kick, right? Not the best technique, but it is effective. But if you want to get better, I would highly recommend that you don't do that. <laughs> but it does create that effect of side spin when you cut it here, right? But if he does it for his first serve and puts some power on it, I would understand that. But if you do that for a second serve, whole different idea. MEP Atlanta does have a good slice. Just too easy. Breaks him too. 3 1. Wonder what would happen if you add topspin to his game. He moves too. Like, he's able to get to things. It's not like the MEP from Atlanta where he's just standing in no man's land. He's actually moving around, recovering, staying on his toes. Good lob. Just out. Weird. Oh, it's from that? Good sir. Got a little luck. Okay. Slice. Good and overhead. I think for these kind of matches, you would always see them come to net during each game. Like, there's not a game where they don't come to net just because of how short they hit the ball. And you can. I'm going to pause it right there because you can see from the difference, right, between the MEP from Atlanta and the MEP from Seattle. The guy in the red is from Seattle, the guy in the green is from Atlanta. You can see the difference in footwork and why people are very frustrated with the guy from Atlanta because shut the fuck up. You can see that the one from Atlanta moves his feet and he's not just standing in this no man's land where the guy from Seattle is standing, right? He'll, I'll continue playing this and I'll pause it again. He recovers, but he recovers to the middle in front of the baseline. And maybe that's because they don't hit that deep or they know each other's game where they can't hit that hard like that all the time. But I just, I think that's why the MEP from Atlanta has a better advantage just because of his footwork. Good slice. Ooh, some topspin. Slicer. Oh, great shot. No way. Great shot. Yeah, those aren't tennis shoes. I have, I have found out these are not tennis shoes. See, they come to the net all the time. Great shot. Oh, we got it. Wow, not bad. Oh, he's actually serving now. 
Nice shot. Oh. Yeah, you might as well. Like, when you're that close to the net, might as well just give him the point. Just save yourself some energy. Good ball. So we can't hit it deep. Threes. He does make solid contact with his backhand. I will give him that. Definitely out. They kind of have that same serve, though. Kind of hiding from the side. Yeah. Do you know what they remind me of in other sports? It's... Some of you will get this, some of you won't. Maybe because I watch, I watch some baseball. It's when a pitcher is able to play into his 40s. Because he only throws knuckleballs. I remember the Red Sox had one pitcher that only threw knuckleballs. And it really pissed me off because it really, I really didn't understand why he was still in the league. And I really didn't understand how he was able to keep up with all these guys that were younger and could hit the ball a lot harder. And this is a perfect example. MEP from Atlanta literally knows where to put the ball and puts junk on it so it makes it even trickier. Hitting behind the player when he's running in one direction. Hitting a slice that's low when he's coming to net. Like, he knows tactically where he should be putting the ball. Whether or not he would be able to keep up with someone like a Division One player right now, that's up for debate. Whether or not we get to see that video, I would love to be a part of that video, even though I wasn't D1, but I would love to play him. I would love to play this guy. But um, that's, that's just the way I see it. It's the knuckleballers of tennis. It's just all junk. Nope. I think I heard him swear there. Good idea. Let's see, like he knows that he needs to come in on that, especially with the side to side spin, I should say. Yeah, he has no confidence in that overhead anymore. He pushed it and then just moved backwards immediately. Oh, what is that? What is that? Physically, physically hurts. Recovery moves, doesn't have top spin, he just hits it flat. How the hell did he hit a drop shot from there? Yeah, he's not even trying to slam anything anymore. He's just putting it. See? Good ball. See, they just grind. They just grind really well. It's, like, that's a normal serve. In terms of their game, if I was to say... If any one of these shots that they have looks 
the best, I would definitely have to say it's the MVP from Atlanta's serve, at least. I think it's the best looking and most effective, I would say, if you were to play someone that wasn't just a grinder of their stature. The leg kick on that approach shot. <laughs> that was awesome. That was that was funny. I would do the same thing. going to a tie break. This is definitely going to a tie break. How low that toss is too, he gets solid contact with it every single time. Putting a little bit more power into that. See the camera moving. Oh, you read it like a book. No way. Ooh, got, got it. Got lucky. lucky. Add in. Wait, hold on. Wait. 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 What, what just happened? happened? He went underarm. And I do apologize right now because I just got my second vaccine shot and I am so out of it. I do apologize if I do yawn once or twice during this video. Just out. Alright, still on surf. Good strategy. Interesting how he actually has a serve on this side of the camera, and on the other side it just looks like he's just taking it from the side of his face. I've never seen this video before, so I don't even know if they go two sets. Ooh, sneak attack. He's just smashing the shit out of it. Imagine if he missed. Ooh, out of the air from the wind from the surface. Good ball. Go in, yes. Smart. Do it again. A little bit of a floater. Scoop. Set point. Great serve. Like, do that all the time.
good serve. What, what the? the? Again, I'm, I'm getting distracted by the guy slamming, slamming a ball, ball in the next board over. I'm not gonna lie. Good, Good serving volley. Backhand. Oh, boo! What the? Nice shot. Nope, he missed it. Well, that's the first set, and to my liking. It's not, not that, that bad. bad. I, I actually really do enjoy that. That, that was actually pretty, pretty entertaining, entertaining to watch. watch. And so I think we're going to stop there. If you guys want to see the rest of this match in the part two reaction that I have, you can go watch this one for yourself. I'll leave the link to this video down in the description below. But if you want to see me react to this, we have to get this video to 20 likes. If this video gets to 20 likes, I'll do a part two for the second set. But I hope you guys did enjoy me watching this. I hope you did enjoy re me reacting to this video. It's I'm not going to lie, quality content. So round of applause to Tennis Troll for setting this up and to both the MEP players. And I hope everyone has a great rest of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks, guys.